Can we come in? Yes. Uncle Ben. Who we got? Well, if I start talking, will you be able to recognize my voice? That's something like Doug. That's Doug. How about this yeah. voice? That's Tom. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Ben. That guy's Don. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. You got the three brothers. Sit down a minute. You got yeah. the brothers here. And then I'll then I'll ask you the question. Do you got time? Yeah. Yeah. What time is it? It's about eleven thirty. Eleven thirty. I have till twelve o'clock. Do you? Okay. Sounds good. Well, huh? How are you doing, Tom? Good. I, good. I guess we can shake him. Yeah, I, I'm I'm safe. I had COVID already. Oh, yeah. So did my daughter. Oh, Linda. Yeah. Wow. So did Tim. Oh, he did no, too. No, wait. Linda didn't. Tim did. Tim had it. Yeah, he was pretty sick. Huh. Sit down. Go ahead, Don. Show me to sit there. Yeah, you can and sit there. That, that's a new pair of shoes. Hey. All right. Yeah. Just like I got here, but they were on nice. sale. They're ninety dollars. She got them for sixty. Oh man. So, that's so, a deal. Yeah, you buy them even if I don't want them. Okay. <laughs> Let me shut this up. So you're here, Tom, huh? Yeah. Came up for Dad's uh, memorial service tomorrow. Who is that going to be? Tomorrow at uh, Fellowship is the church. It's on. Oh. I see. Friendship. Fr or friendship. Friendship. That's right. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm blind. See, I can't see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, wait. You can turn that chair around. Well, you can sit in that chair. Yeah, I will. I will. Yep. Yeah. So it's good to see you guys. Yeah. We are. Uh, we. We were talking, and we wanted to come see you while I was in town, you know, and we just went up to Howard City, Michigan. Oh, did you? And uh, uh, Doug will tell you what happened with your house. We we stopped in and saw your old house. Well, we didn't we, we didn't go in the house, Uncle Ben. We What happened? Did they tear it down? We were just going no. around the lake. No, they added on to it. They added a garage. Who did they? And it really looks nice. I think you told me he did. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, met... Yeah. We met we met the guy living there. Did you? And yeah. Did you tell him your that I built it? Yeah, yeah. He didn't know you, but he he didn't he heard stories about it, but then he knew more of the guy who had it before him. Yeah. So. Yeah, a lady, a girl had it before. Okay. She was. I think she was a girlfriend of a guy that. Her boyfriend, I think, was kind of a. Business guy in the, in the shopping district there. Mm-hmm. You know? Up Howard City, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and I just put the sign out. I did because no one was using it. A lot of modern city, I said, this. so I tacked it up, and the guy came. He offered me so much. I says, I just put the sign up. <laughs> I says, I have no idea. He says, Oh, wait a minute. He went out and he come back. He says, I'll give you five thousand dollars down right now. Well, that five thousand then was. Pretty good, you know, <laughs> if you get 5000 in your hand. Yeah. And so, anyway. What year would that have been, like, in, like around 1980 or something? Or I honestly don't know. Yeah, because I was thinking Cause I... Because everything was brand new. Everything in there was furnished. Yeah. Everything. Mm. And I thought afterwards, you know, I thought afterwards, I should have about $5,000 straight off. <laughs> In their hands. Yeah. Right. You can't, that was a pretty good deal. Can't turn that away. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember you let me um, use it with Heidi and another couple from Carthage, Illinois. And we went, we stayed there one uh, yeah. night and went, we went fishing on the yeah, lake. Di different ones did. Yeah. I found out that my daughter, Linda and, and Dave, I think on their honeymoon, I, did, I didn't know when all those people went there. Uh -huh. But apparently Joy Bells did. Yeah. <laughs> so that was okay. But boy, when I look back how I did that, <clears throat> it's just amazing because I, I am not a carpenter and I don't know how to do very much really. Yeah. I'm I'll tell you how I got I how I got the lot. The guy was working in the tool shop and machine shop with me. He was right next to me. His Haver his name was Haverkamp and his uncle was a was a minister at East Leonard Christian Reformed Church. Huh. And he he talked about a lot that he had that was started out by firemen. Uh -huh. Right? That lot that week. Yeah, mm -hmm. Stan Chase. Yeah. 
So he kept talking about it, and uh, I, I was a little bit interested because I knew I should try to save a little bit of money on the side some way, and he said he wanted to sell it. I, I says, well, how much is it worth? He says, $900. Well, I didn't know what it was worth. I never seen it. Huh. And I I never invested in anything, but I wasn't saving any money outside of a little bit, you know. So Joy Bells and I drove up there to the office one, one night. And when they said, what is that lot on the corner? We didn't even know where it was. And huh. it was on the corner there. I says, what is that lot? What, what would that lot sell for? And he says, $2,900. Huh. 2900 That's something. So I got back to work, you know, and I says to him, I says, okay. I says, I'll tell you what, I'll buy it, but I don't have the money right now, and I give you, I gave him, I don't know, $100 or something. Uh -huh. he, wouldn't, he wouldn't make no motion, no, no move on what, so I filled it out. I will pay so much down, uh -huh. and I will pay so much, you know. Uh -huh. And I had my wife sign it, and, and I says, here now, sign that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, so he did, and and I I got it paid for, you know. Uh -huh. I had a $2,900 lot. <laughs> wow. So right. then I sang in the Corlears. Yeah. And then we take a trip every spring, see? Mm -hmm. And I happened to move with Hank Capdine, who was a carpenter. But you had a you could not just start building. You had to have the frame up. Uh -huh. You know, someone would just start to build it otherwise. So I asked Hank, I says, uh, how much would it cost me to uh, put just the frame up? And by the time he got done, he told me what it, what it would cost. So I went and joined the Grand Valley Credit Union. I had never joined it before. And I, I borrowed, I think, $3,000 or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> Grand Valley Credit Union. It was on 29th Street. So there I was, a sort of a businessman. <laughs> and I went from there, I'm telling you. So I... I got it, and then, and then there was a fella, an old a farmer up the, up the road up there. I heard that he dug, he dug, holes. Oh, for a septic. Well, for the cottage, for the little crawl space, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, yours had a crawl space in it. Well, okay. yeah, but it's just it was just going to be foundation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he did it, but he went a little bit deep, and Hank, who poured the cement. He did it on a real hot day, and it was kind of sandy, yeah. and he really had to work hard to get it troweled out. Okay. But it was deeper than ordinary just, you know, foundation. Yeah. Yeah. So I ended up putting some <laughs> steps in, and it was about as, it was about this deep from here to there. You could get down, so it was all cemented too down there. Huh. So I got an extra call, you know, extra space. Mm -hmm. And he did it, and he, yeah, he put, he got paneling for me. How much would it cost, Hank, for this? Huh. And I did it piecemeal. I, I, uh, I got a, a pump from, I think, one of the bosses I worked at. Uh -huh. And uh, so I heard of a, a guy that dug a well, and he dug a well. And so I had a hand pump out there. Because then I poured a form and made a slab of cement. And I bought a pump at Sears Ruba. Oh, I did this all piecemeal, you know, yeah. now and then. And I had Hank build me a nice little uh, uh, barn. It was like, like a doghouse. Yeah, <laughs> to cover it up. Yeah. And I started to do all the, the plumbing and digging the hole and all that. Oh. Oh, God. I got, I got my... Uh, I got my refrigerator. I got my stove from a guy I worked with who was getting a divorce. I says, I'll buy it if you bring it up there. <laughs> so he brought it up. I, I got a good... And so piece by piece, I the only thing I went in debt with for a while was the initial $3,000 fee. Huh. And I handled that pretty good. So 
and man, I did it all. That's a nice little cottage. And then I ended up, I ended up, Hank, Hank did it all, you know. Mm -hmm. He framed it, and I would go up there mostly. But I went up by myself mostly all the time, doing stuff, cutting the trees way up higher, mm -hmm. like that, you know, make it look nice. And then he had a friend that he got he got some, uh, I think they were railroad ties, or either that or they were from uh, around the lake where, where they had big timber, mm -hmm. and he made split rail fences. That guy oh, did. Oh yeah. So. Before I left, I had all split rails put around that sucker. I remember that. It was nice. Yeah, they're not there anymore, are they? No. no. They're not there no more. No. Well, we stopped in at the Lucasons. I don't know if you knew John and Judy Lucasson. They're Dutch from, from Holland, and they um, were telling us that they just raised the uh, kind of the HOA for the lake to 200 a year, and so you have to pay $200 a year now to live there. To belong? To be a, be a property owner, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's fair enough. What what does that two hundred dollars do? I think it a lot gives you lake access, but I read I read where you have to take a sticker and put it on your boat to prove you're a property owner. Oh, don't, I see. They don't want people on the lake fishing if you don't you're not a property yeah. owner. They're pretty strict on that. Yeah. Yeah, well, that was a long, long time ago. Yeah. In weed control, you know how they used to shock the lake <coughs> the weeds and that type of thing. Yeah, so well, not a stump in there and everything. I think your yeah. house would go for probably, from what we're seeing, about one eighty. Right Hundred eighty thousand. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Yeah. I think I, I think.